So right now I've just woken up and today's video is going to be all about my self-care routine and it's not going to be just getting ready It's also going to be exercises journaling reading listening to music and getting some of my work done And I'm just going to try and ease into some good habits and get out of some bad ones in this video So before anything else, I'm gonna pick an outfit that I'll wear today and just relax in I don't want to be extra comfortable I just want to be comfortable to the point that I'll actually do stuff so it's definitely not gonna be pajamas, but I'm hoping I find something that's both comfy and easy to work in. So the first proper part of my self-care routine is always a shower. It's gonna be a long one today since I have to shave. So I'm gonna take it pretty easy, listen to some music, just relax, de-stress instead of rushing everything. So normally I like shaving before my shower since that means when I actually get in the shower, everything just gets much more comfy. And even though they do say that your pores open them after you take like a warm bath, I just try and use a warm towel or like splash some more water on my face to open up my pores so it's easier to shave. So normally what I shave with is just super standard, some shaving foam, a body and a face razor. And I just try to keep it separate just for hygiene. So now that I've actually shaved, I'm going to go have that shower I keep talking about. But one thing I've learned is that when you just wash your body and don't scrub it or anything, it's often not that hygienic. So instead, a while back, I ordered these scrubby things from Timu. So one for your hair, one for your body. And then of course, shampoo and body wash is pretty standard. Here's a tip of something I've been doing for a while, but only if you're someone who tends to have a warmer shower, then for the last 30 seconds to a minute, just switch it to a bit of cooler water. Just like, it's better for your skin apparently. To so everybody in this section I'm gonna start off with my skincare haircut stuff like I said before it's super simple half of the time I don't even use all of these products I use like moisturizer and then deodorant and then aftershave so it's really that to be honest but today I've decided to spring it up and change it a bit okay now so I'm basically ready I've put some spot covers on my spots I'm just gonna talk you guys through the products that I use to just get ready. And like I said it before, I did use extra products today because just because it was like a self-care day, normally all I use is a moisturizer, lip balm, and deodorant or aftershave, and that's literally it. So yeah, first up I use some Lynx deodorant. I always use like a roll-on before I use a spray-on just because it I feel like it the smell lasts longer. I use these moisturizers, CeraVe, and this one which is some Aproderm oat cream one. Also I used, I used aftershave, like these products are in no order. This is Sauvage by Dior. Uh, some spot patches just to cover up my spots and help them get better. Face balm, so after shaving, I use this or try to use it first after the skincare, just so everything like cools down and doesn't burn. The next point of course is my hair. Sometimes it looks really good when it's wet. So I am gonna blow dry it and I hope the blow dry thing works. Sometimes it, it's like 50-50, you never know if it's actually gonna work or not. So hopefully it does. So that's my second thing I'm gonna do, as well as wear my white shirt. So as you guys know, my next section in my self-care routine that I keep talking about is doing homework and schoolwork. And you might be thinking, how the hell does that actually fit into self-care? But for me, at least studying will get me to my end goal. So the first thing that I'm probably gonna start on is my schizophrenia and research methods revision for psychology A-level. And I have a test next week that was incoming for quite a few weeks. But since it's a topic I find a bit easier, I started revision only this week because I know it won't be as bad, hopefully. I say that and watch me do really badly. But yeah, it's literally just research methods in case you don't know what that is, it's all about how people conduct research and it's like simple maths essentially and loads of data graphs and stuff. But then schizophrenia, you guys know, is a mental health disorder and essentially we learn all about that, how to treat it, how to help and then symptoms and stuff of it. So I have quite a lot to catch up on in terms of revision. So hopefully you'll see me on the other side finished with it for today. As you've seen in some of the clips that I've been showing you, it looks like I'm having an existential crisis, but it was me just like enjoying the music and stuff. So I always try for self care to listen to music, just journal, read and do stuff that I enjoy doing because it's just a fun way of de-stressing and relaxing. So yeah, that's definitely something I tried to do. I've listened to a lot of music right now. I'm kind of sick of it. So instead I'm going to start journaling, which I have like, haven't done in a while, probably like a week or two. So I want to start 
by journaling, writing down all my thoughts that I've had over this past week, some of them that have been bugging me more than others. And yeah, we'll go from there. If you guys have watched my older vlogs, I've shown you guys this plenty of times, but it's my journal. And honestly, journaling does not have to be those things you see online where it's super pretty and like super neat and everything. My journal is the least neat thing ever. Like it's absolutely littered with random stuff, but it's honestly just a really, really good way of getting all your thoughts down that really start to bother you and like you don't want to keep inside and you can write them down in the journal and get rid of them. So one thing I always try to do is read, read fiction especially, because I feel like anytime I have a lot of the homework and revision, my reading ends up lacking quite a bit. Bit, but when I do have time to read, I always feel really like stimulated mentally and actually like I'm doing something that's gonna help me. And the plot is normally so interesting, I get really absorbed in it and just wanna finish the book. So now that I've done quite a few things, I've journaled, exercised, read a book for like the first time in three weeks. Other than that, I'll probably go and watch a bit of Netflix or watch some YouTube videos or on, go on TikTok and that'll be the rest of my self-care. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw everything that I do for my self-care. I've decided that going forward this channel, I'm just honestly gonna post stuff that I really enjoy and hopefully the content takes off from there. So hopefully you guys see videos that aren't always studying all the time and are a bit more fun and that you enjoy. But I just wanna say thank you so, so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week with a brand new one. But in the meantime, maybe you want to check out the video I made last week. So feel free to do so. And then yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.